GNAC Top Plays begins on the football field this week, where special teams made it exciting between Azusa Pacific and Humboldt State. Intercepted, racing back the other way is Evan Camarena. Cougars cannot take anything for granted as we'll now take a look at that kick return in earnest. It, basic return left. You see that lane they had. That's right. Thing. One, really one good block by Adam Herrera was all that he needed. Taking time, throws it, intercepted. Cougars have it, this is Quentin Frazier with it down the left sideline, 30 inside the 20. The pick by Quentin Frazier ensured the Cougars the 37-21 victory. It has been a great start for Western Washington's Cody Roth, who has twice been named the GNX Men's Golf Player of the Week. At last week's Western Washington Invitational, Roth was the top conference player, finishing fourth with a three-round score of four under par 212. He led the Vikings to their second team championship of the fall season on their home course in Bellingham. From the course to the pitch, as Concordia gave number one ranked Simon Fraser one of its tightest matches of the season, until Connor Glennon did what he does best, as the clearing header comes right back to him and back to the net for the 52nd minute game winner. The clan stays undefeated with a 1-0 victory over the Cavaliers. Guillaume Kramer does what he does best for Montana State Billings against Seattle Pacific. His signature free kick in the 50th minute was his 14th career goal, moving him into the school's top 10 for goal score. The Falcons, however, took the 3-2 win over the Yellow Jackets. Northwest Nazarene and St. Martin's went overtime in Lacey, and it was Rafael Junquera hitting his second game winner of the year. Uses the speed, opportunity, and that's the game winner for the Nighthawks. The Nighthawks leave St. Martin's with the 3-2 victory. In Billings, two days later, it was Jake Levine making the nice move through the defense, taking the cross from Logan Wood to net his third goal of the year. It was one of three goals the Nighthawks scored in the first half. To the 86th minute, where it was Levine and Wood on the assist from the corner, to who else? Rafael Junquera. The insurance goal ended the 4-2 win for the Nighthawks. Western Washington hosting Concordia, and it was Drew Barker opening scoring in the 17th minute, hitting the runner to the far side of the net. Fast forward to the 52nd, and Tegan Eldridge got it done by himself, pulling the Concordia keeper off his line for the chip into the goal. The Vikings scored the 2-0 shutout over the Cavaliers. Passing was as important as the goal for Montana State Billings, as Claire Teveso threaded the needle to Julia Keller for the game winner. The Yellow Jackets put the brakes on a hot Northwest Nazarene squad, 2-1. The Nighthawks' Ricky Myers didn't lose her number when it was called at Seattle Pacific. Oh, there's a goal right there. Look at that shot from out just about the 18-yard. The one-timer was Myers' fourth goal of the season, but not enough in a 2-1 loss to the Falcons. Jenna Lee Baxter with a little magic for the game winner against Central Washington. In the middle of the box, she's in the right place at the right time for Tiggy McKay's pass in the 49th minute. The plan hold on for the 1-0 victory. Western Washington extended its win streak to four matches at Western Oregon. Grace Eversall opened scoring with this shot from the middle of the box in the 10th. Two minutes later, it was Gabriella Pelogi on the breakaway and could keep her out of position and provided for the easy goal. In the 55th, it appears Zoe Milburn swings and misses, but the second chance is on target to close the 3-0 shutout of the Wolves. Simon Fraser Volleyball was hitting on all cylinders against Montana State Billings. That's a great kill. That's a good pass from Kirsten Pinkney. Inside. That's a good tip up and over. Very smart play from Kirsten Pinkney. The clan with a three-set shutout of the Yellow Jackets. Finally, a salute to Western Washington's Abby Phelps, who became the Vikings' all-time leader in kills with her 10 against Montana State Billings. She finished the match with 1,387 career kills, surpassing the previous record of 1,379 set by Megan Evoy in 2004. The kills also moved Phelps to number 7 on the GNAC all-time list. She led the Vikings to a three-set sweep of the Yellow Jackets. That's it for GNAC Top Plays. I'm Blake Tim. We'll see you next time.